there are a lot of cool features in MuseCore 4. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite features, and that is activating the reverb section, the reverb effects in MuseCore 4. The reason why this is so cool is that if you're composing for a large orchestra or for a large ensemble, you can really start implementing a little bit of the ambiance of the entire orchestra sound or whatever group you are composing for. And that's going to help you get a better idea of what the sound is going to be like in a concert hall. So let's dive right in. First, you need to download the Muse Hubs platform. So you have to download Muse Hubs, go to musescore.org and make sure you download the MuseCore 4 software, the update and MuseHub because without MuseHub, you can't really do a lot of the cool things with MuseCore 4, such as getting the, the realistic strings, brass, percussion, winds, all that stuff with the Muse sounds. That's number one. Number two is that with MuseHub, you get special effects. So once you have downloaded MuseHub, you are going to click on MuseHub and there are different sort of um, tabs up in the in the little tab here you're going to go to effect and then you're going to click on get and then once you get it you install it then you the sky is the limit for you right now you also have other you know effects for compressing for pro eq for equalizing the the audio if you so choose to and you have all sorts of different effects when it gets when it comes to the like the delay and the master if you really want to barge into that so how do you activate reverb so right here i have an orchestra score uh, kind of a random kind of a random thing i've composed and i went all the way to the right so when you open up the mixer hold on a second when i go open up the mixer you're not going to see the master setting right away so you're going to go down here you're going to go all the way to the right and then you're going to see the master setting. And typically, you will see nothing here. You'll see like a very blank, blank tab here. So you're going to click the arrow. And then once you have installed Muse Effects, once you get here, you're going to click on the power button that you could turn this on or off. But I'm going to click on the actual reverb button here. And then I have Staff Pad Hall and I have all sorts of different options for reverb in terms of the kind of room I want to do. So I did a concert hall and you can really mess around with this. You can play around with this and, you know, have fun with it. And just to give you an idea of the quality of the sound, let's just play a little bit of this little composition that I composed. This is with the effects. This is without. So it may not be. It may not be a big difference, but it does add a little bit of ambiance to the sound. Hope this video was helpful. And if you want to check out more MuseScore 4 tips, check out this playlist right over here. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.